In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to back up your website on HostGator with cPanel. So it's really easy to do and let's get right into it. Now, if you haven't already got yourself a domain or hosting, then I'd recommend clicking the link in the top of the description and this will give you a 70% off discount on HostGator, which is really, really good. It also helps out the channel. So make sure you go and check that out. So once we've actually got our domain and our hosting, we should go to our dashboard and it looks something like this. And what we can do from here is we can go over to our domain. And in fact, we actually want to go to websites. And then what we want to do is go to settings. And then once we've gone to settings, we want to go over to the tab that says advanced. And then from here, we want to scroll down and we want to go to the cPanel section here. So what we can do is we can click manage and this is going to be our cPanel and from here what we can basically do is we can set up the backup. So you can see if we go to where it says files, there should be a section here that says backup. We're going to click on that button and then there we have a few different options. So number one we can create a full backup. This creates a full backup which archives all of your websites, files and configuration. You can use this to move this to another account. So we can click on that and it's going to ask us to generate a full backup and the backup destination. We can pick home directory, remote FTP server. So if you wanted to add like FileZilla or something, passive mode transfer of that and secure copy. We can pick which one we want. We can just do this one. We can also select an email address and this will basically put send the backup to that email address. And then we just click generate backup basically. Now we can also create some partial backups. So if we go here, we can download a home directory backup. We can download your database, download email forwarding. You can download email filters. Now, something else we can do from this section here is we can go ahead and we can go to the restore section here. So this allows us to restore from a backup that we may have created. So we can get the full backup here and we can restore it here. We can restore a home directory backup. And this is just simple. We just choose the file and then we upload it. And it's really as simple as that to go ahead and do. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. And as I said earlier, if you want to grab yourself 70% off some hosting, then go to the link in the description and you can get some huge discounts there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.